Alright guys, welcome back. And uh, this is tutorial number 9. Hmm. So in this tutorial we're going to achieve two things. One. Uh, this crystal reports have one very right, big problem that they don't get refresh every time they loads up so first we have to write code so that the report gets refresh every time it loads loads up secondly we have to make sure that it must show only the one which have been made it uh, entry of I hope you get what I'm trying to make a point of alright so let's make it happen hmm. Red, uh, select your receipt form go right click select view form after initial initialized component right crystal viewer one dot report okay sorry dot refresh report that's all and then <coughs> and then we have to uh, show the report of the uh, of the entry I mean like, take a look at this uh, step uh, uh, let's make it uh, let's break it down into steps step 1 will be making an entry step 2 will be pressing the proceed button and step 3 will be the loading of the report and uh, this report and step 4 will be printing of this report so we make sure uh, so we have to make sure that the report must be of the same order ID of the new entry okay it's very simple what we have to do is to just make sure that the uh, that the ID over here is e uh, make sure that the no 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 make this ID equivalent to this ID via the, oh, from here okay so first we have to figure out what ID is coming over here and that's it uh, we go initializing component db course dot retrieve data label order number dot text is equals to db quotes dot order id dot to string okay we got the id now here's our id the latest id okay now um now what we're going to do we're going to make a selection formula for this report and make the selection formula for this report that's it that's it so go to codes go to codes write db codes db is equals to new db codes db dot order id dot order id okay um selection formula here's the selection formula Right, crystal report viewer one dot selection formula is equals to details dot order id uh, is equals to plus mm, wait the for a second integer a is equals to db dot or id okay a hmm. let's see let's hit a run and make sure you refresh after all this crap happens um, wait. okay let's hit run and test what will happen customer name Sorry, but it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, card details none, quantity one zero hundred. Well, make it eight hundred. 
and trading total amount this advance 5000 let's proceed hit it right press the same oh we have been fired the receipt form at this event so how is going to make this functionality just go to manager double click on proceed and make sure you write these codes after db codes dot save data write receipt form or whatever your form name is receipt form and uh, let's go to new receipt form rf dot show and this dot oh well i think this will going to close whole application so make sure you make its visibility to false what i mean by this is the ex is the current context form this one okay let's hit run okay so we made a little mistake and what that mistake is this thing is not incrementing actually it is incrementing but the problem is the order ID we are getting from the database we are getting the we get the first ID whereas we need the last ID so it's very simple just we have to change the query and make sure to change the query so order by DES descend let's hit a try make sure you make a breakpoint over here and let's hit it okay oh so I think um order by things which I have left uh, now I think it must work let's hit a try dun dun yeah exactly we get 1002 that's all let's make a pure one name salem 1234567891211101 proceed processing when there is a two okay so this is hmm that error, error was due to the query we are running behind the score means th this has something error let's make a breakpoint um let's try some raw methods to figure out where the problem is and make program.cs with a receipt form this is fine this is fine means we are not getting a right a <laughs> let's see what's happening A is equals to zero, whereas DB dot order ID is also equals to zero. Why is that so? Well, let's try something like um, what? We have a very nice option. Let's hmm. So I figured out what the problem is. We are instantiating a new DB codes that's why everything gets new all values get resetted so now we are going to write some other codes in order to get an order id 